The second chapter of the book of Titus addresses sound doctrine, sound speech that cannot be condemned so that those who oppose that sound doctrine might be ashamed. And in order that they might not find bad things to say about those delivering that message. Well, today we live at a time of so-called political correctness. And no matter how sound the message, there are those who find some bad thing to say about the messenger. Point out an error with almost anything and immediately you're anti this or anti that, or said to have some kind of phobia. Within the ranks of Christian theology, we find the very same thing. Point out the error in disobeying our Creator's commandments, and all of a sudden you become legalistic. Say it over and over again. We are saved by grace through faith and not of works. And you're still legalistic if you believe that all ten of our Creator's commandments should be kept. Commandments that He wrote in stone with His own finger. Commandments that can never be changed. Let us not forget that it is by the grace of God that we realize that we should do what He says. The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Yes, we're saved by grace. Works will not save us. Even so, we do not make void the law in order that grace may abound. Our Creator's commandments still define sin. Now, while some insist on calling that legalistic, it is nothing less than sound doctrine, for that is what we find within the pages of Scripture. While some within the ranks of contemporary Christian theology might consider any reference to the law to be politically incorrect, legalistic. Let us heed the advice of Timothy. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts. <music>